probably one of my favorite champions, to be honest. He just looks like an angel, just godly, divine. So if you have him, he's not easy to get. This is a void legendary champion. Consider this a showcase, but I'm gonna show you guys how I have him built in case you guys want that kind of reference. But look how majestic he is, glorious. Here are the specific pieces of gear that I have on him. There's different ways to build him. You could have him in triple speed, if you want, just basically make him go as fast as possible. Another viable set that I really enjoyed was him in a relentless set. Again, I'll show you, I'll run through all this again, focusing on speed. And for this specific Cardiel, I've put some attack on him. I've put a little bit of effort into making sure that I could build him out with some damage in mind. Because the more damage that I put on him, the more damage he puts out. And it helps in Live Arena, where a lot of people don't expect him to do damage, or it helps out in Fire Knight. Pinpoint sets give him that extra 10% boost to speed, so I definitely recommend that. Counter attack is always nice as well. On the chest, defense and HP is a good way to go. You do want him to survive because he's a support champion. So the priorities should always be speed, survivability stats, and then attack, which you see right here. So speed, 364 speed, survivability stats, 67,000 HP, 4,300 defense, a little bit of attack on 3,500, 100% crit rate over crit kind of bothers me, but that's just, it is what it is, 136 crit damage. So he's not doing like the most, but he's doing a decent amount of damage. Rez is also pretty good to have just so he doesn't get debuffed. The higher up you go, the more accuracy everybody's going to have, but it helps. So if you can't reach these stats, all you have to do is take the priority stats that I just listed, apply it to yourself, and make it work for yourself. A lot of you guys might say, oh, you know, uh, I, I just don't have that kind of gear, that stats. I don't want to have to do this speech every single time, but just scale it to your account. It's not that hard. If you can't reach 336 speed or whatever he was just at, drop it down. 200 speed. If, if that's the fastest you can go, 200 speed. That's fine. But at least you know. So when you do get the gear, eventually when you get the gear, as long as you're being consistent enough, then you know how best to build him. His A1 attacks one enemy, heals by 7.5%. This is pretty useful. Heals on the A1. Everybody's getting a heal. Not a big heal, but it helps. True Fear, anybody from Demon Spawn, Undead Hordes, or Knight Revenant. True Fear, basically, if they have True Fear and they try to activate a skill and it doesn't proc, that skill automatically goes on cooldown. Regular Fear, it doesn't. But it's a 50-50. AoE cleanse, placing the block debuffs and revive on death. Block debuffs and cleanse are always going to be good all around. Bread and butter, ally attack, increase crit rate, crit damage, and then decrease the cooldown of this skill if an enemy is killed from this attack. Allies receive 20% less damage from champions from these factions. Whenever an ally attacks, has a 15% chance to team up with them and join in on their attack. Kind of like Michinaki. Speed in all battles, 19%. That's pretty good. I have Temp Chain, so anytime somebody puts up debuffs, decrease of enemy speed by certain percentages. Really want to get that up, though. As always, do not blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and feel free. Blindly copy these masteries. You could take the counterattack route to have a little bit more survivability, a little bit more heals, and counterattack, because every time you counterattack with the A1, you're putting out some heals, helps out. But I took this support side to get some um, extra health and some lasting gifts. But I think now that I'm saying it out loud, this path might be better. I do have a Phantom Shogun team braiding Cardiel. The main place that I use him in is Fire Knight. So let me just do a run real quick so you can see how it is. As you can see, Cardiel is no slouch, doing a decent amount of damage himself, right? That was almost 21,000 in damage, right? Nut is in Savage, doing 30. 38 again, pretty consistent over 30. 29 that time. All right, so here we go. Have the preset set up. He's gonna start off with an ally attack. So you can see that that uh, shield counter up top is going down pretty quickly. Grandpa's gonna do his move too. Joining in, gets an extra turn, he's in Relentless. And it's also nice to have the cleanse because anytime, and sometimes the hard fire knight does put the uh what do you call it the decrease speed on him on the on our team and it's nice to just either block that by using the block debuffs or by cleansing it in case we don't get the decrease attack sometimes the fire knight will hit us hard enough razzlebrog just went down but luckily that's an instance where the revive on death helps out quite a bit if you haven't seen the video that i did i did a video dropping over 10,000 energy on Hard Fire Night 10. I did over 250 runs 
And ever since that, I've been doing hard Fire Knight 10. Not a single fail since. This team is 100%. At least, I'm going to say it's like 99.99% um, safe to run. But of course, the speeds are pretty high. Requirements are pretty high. Joining in on that attack again, we did 11. Warmaster procs, 50k. Revive on death, just in case. Jumping in with the ally attack once more. Boom, 25. So as you can see, completely useful all around. Because this, you can apply this to the dragon. Ally attack is good in dragon. Uh, Iron twins, if you want to do ally attack in iron twins. Cleansing against, like, for an example, the, uh, the hard ice golem. If anybody has debuffs put up. Like, these are skills that are universally useful all around. That turn meter is getting sent back. There you go. Where's that soul reaper? There it is. Boom. All right. So. If you wanted to throw them in the clan boss teams, you could. Uh, Hydra. We can actually throw them into Hydra. This is the team we're going to use with Thor, Venus. This used to be a variation of my hard nightmare team. Or not my hard nightmare team. This used to be a variation of my nightmare team. But I recently changed my nightmare team to this team here with Grand Oak Padraig, another ally attack champion with Mikage, another ally attack champion, Green Ghost Rider. And it's pretty much the same thing here. He does the ally attack and it pairs very well going up against somebody who has uh, an AOE on their A1. For example, Cupidus has that AOE on his A1. So sometimes when you can't target a specific head, like the head of mischief, having that AOE helps out. Thor doing massive amounts of damage as well. That Skyruptor is nasty. Thor is in a Slayer set. But as you can see, Cardio is just putting in work. So I'm gonna skip to the end here so you guys can see what the total damage points indicators are. And then for those of you who want to see how he did at the very end, Cardio put up 26 million by himself. Nothing too grand, especially in the context of going up against some of the other guys here on the left who did a lot. But again, for an example, Venus, Hex set, uh, a lot of the damage gets given to her. Razzlevarg, a lot of AoEs built for damage also. Brimstone, Relentless set. Cupidus, of course, is going to be doing Cupidus things. It's interesting that Venus out damaged him. But again, a lot of the damage that uh, was registered goes to Venus because of the hex set at least to my understanding that's what it is and of course thor is just doing thor things and of course faction wars it's a great place to have him in it's basically a clap if you can get him in here it's pretty cool seeing astralon and cardiel next to each other because they kind of i mean obviously astralon is a reskin of cardiel and then i want to go ahead and take him into live arena it's about time for me to hit a stream so if you hear me talking to well what it, it sounds like other people it's because i'm streaming while doing this at the same time all right, he's in stone skin. So we're a little bit screwed up the ass there. Okay, we got frozen there. Oh my gosh. Is that how that works? He he's a he removes the I mean, Gurkha would have smacked me either way, I think. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, now we're we're okay. We're okay. Wait, does Galathir revive? He's a reviver, right? All right, we're gonna play it safe here. Remove, put the revive in. Cardio, yeah, cardio looks, oh, you don't like how cardio looks, but you wish you could get him, yeah. I, I feel you, bro. All right, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Check out the damage, 7,000, check the A2, boom. So I guess it's only in his first form, right? Galathir is only only in his first form that he, he survives. I used to be afraid of mythicals, but the more I fight them, the more used to it I am. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, Cardio does outspeed um, a lot of Arbiters. Uh, but then again, it's not really much to, to brag about. He is level 87. So this is one of the cases where, I mean, he still might get me. He still might gank me. Who knows? Y you know what I mean? It it's possible. But then Armand is here. Sumu Kong. Uh, hey, uh, what's up, Dev? Uh, soon, I'm gonna throw it on auto here. All right, so let's get rid of Odin, because I don't like that nine turn block damage thing he's got going on. So revive, increase attack. Um, you know what? In retrospect, I kind of just helped him out by giving him more turn meter. I should have. Oh wait, wait, no, no! Mikage's got this. Mikage's got this. 
Boom. There you go. And then now let's go. Let's go ham on Rotos. And then we can. Does he? Hold on. Does Ally attack? Oh, he only ally attacks when Kutrex is in. I see. I see that's how it is. Okay. All right, let's get rid of this mythical champion. I don't know what this mythical champion does. Bro, have you guys seen what Thor's been doing? Thor's been doing some nasty things. Some absolutely disgusting things. Do not ban Cardi yet. What the f... It's oh, oh my gosh, he banned Cardiel. Here it is. Oh my gosh, we're saved. Okay. Who should we uh Thor or Trunda? Oh my gosh, who do we I don't know who to who to uh new okay, Thor. Whoa what? He's got Swift Parry on. Don't do it. Leave me alone. Leave my Rhonda alone. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, here comes the A3. Oh wait, hold on. Skadoosh. Oh, caboose. Don't do it. Get out of here. Hold on, hold on. Somebody hold my Taurus. Yeah! <laughs> well, we'll see, because that shoe's in. It's going to be really fast. Oh, not fast enough, mother lover! My Cardiel outsped that shoes in. Oh. Wait, I thought... Actually, I need to look at Marius' kit. I don't I don't know what Marius does yet. Like, I've seen what he does, but I haven't really, like, taken a look at him. I thought for some reason he can't get stunned. Apparently, that's not the case, though. Wukong. Don't do it. He sheeped it. Sakib, thank you. Okay, so it's not a Nuku Kong. Armands, get the fuck out of here, bro. Come on, Cardio. Yes, cleanse with my two sheep. Fuck you, Armands. Good night, Rama. Armands, eat that torment dick, dude. Fuck out of here. UDK is going to keep cucking me here. Yes. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. What, is, what does he do? Uh, increase defense. Uh, is a, okay, let's try this one. Yes, the stun. Get rid of him. Oh, he's only immune. There it is, boys. There, yeah! Hey, we thought we were gonna lose. I thought I was gonna lose that one. All right. So, I think what we can do here is protect ourselves by doing this first. Skills on cooldown. Please give me the strip. We got the one strip here. I should have not clicked on Marius. I mean, um, uh, more two. Oh, I see it. I see it. Well, I mean, that wasn't a good a good pick here. Uh-oh. 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 Is there a little bit of hope? Do we have a little bit of hope? Oh, fear. The fear was placed. That's right. Cardio's A1 places a fear. Is it a true fear or just a fear? What's the difference? I remember the difference a while ago. I, I forgot what the difference was. Shit. Okay. All right. What do we do? Let's re let's redirect that. Let's try to get rid of Hef. I just need Marius to take a turn. Come on, dude. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, did he? Here it is. Enfeebled. And that's it. That's a wrap, right? Unfortunately, Cardio got. Mortude. His uh, A1 didn't save us that time. But it's okay. 